Having a crush can make you feel like the happiest person in the world, but at times it can also make you wanna rip your hair out. <laughs> We're sure you can relate. If you've seen the anime Kimi ni Tudoke from Me to You, Kaguya-sama, Love is War, or any shoujo anime ever, you know exactly what we're talking about. Those shows make you want to crawl inside the screen and yell, just kiss at the characters. As you can guess from the title, this video is for all of you having crush troubles. If you're not sure how your crush feels, here are some signs they're more than happy to be around you. For starters, do they initiate contact? If you've ever had a crush, then you're probably really familiar with the who talks to who first problem. Should I message them? What if I seem too clingy? But what if I lose my chance? Yeah, that one. If your crush is comfortable around you, all these questions become easily solved. It's because your crush won't even have second thoughts about messaging you in the first place. When they often talk to you to tell you simple life updates, juicy gossip, or even random things, they're showing that they value your judgment and that they trust you enough to be open about whatever. Even shy introverts talk first when they really want to. So if you notice your crush making the effort, take the opportunity and don't leave them hanging. Next, do they throw formality out the window? The use of honorifics is especially common in countries like China, South Korea, and Japan. For those who don't know, honorifics are basically words like Mr., Mrs., Professor, and other terms that acknowledge respect and rank. Let's say you just met Satoru Gojo in Japan. You would probably call him Gojo-san because the honorific san is for people you don't know. However, if you get into a relationship with him or become intimate, you will probably drop the honorific altogether or, you know, call him babe. We wish. The same idea applies to your crush. If they're letting loose, giving you nicknames, swearing, and teasing, you can bet they're highly comfortable with you. They don't feel like you're going to judge them. So in turn, they relax and show you their uninhibited self. Next, are they tactile? According to the Cambridge Dictionary, a tactile person touches other people a lot. There are a lot of reasons why they may tend to do this. See, physical touch is like magic. It sometimes feels like it too. It doesn't require words, but it says so much. For example, when you're having a difficult time, a single hand on your shoulder can bring all the comfort and empathy you need. When your crush lays their head on your arm, hugs you, and doesn't shy away from any form of physical contact, they're welcoming intimacy into your relationship. A 2008 study published in the peer-reviewed medical journal, Psychosom Med, shows that physical touch results in positive physiological benefits, such as less stress. The emotional benefits are not a secret too. Touching can make you feel included, nurtured, and perhaps even sexually engaged. But what if your crush doesn't touch you at all? That's okay. People can also avoid touching due to numerous factors, such as childhood upbringing, trauma, social anxiety, preference, and more. There are many ways to display affectionate behavior, so try to see if they do the other signs instead. Do they welcome conflict? Arguments are a natural, healthy part of relationships. However, plenty of people choose to avoid or ignore conflict because they either don't know how to address it appropriately or are scared to. So if your crush is not afraid of voicing disagreements and getting into debates with you, they're very comfortable. According to Jared Anderson, author of Three Reasons Arguments with Your Partner Can Be Beneficial to Your Relationship, healthy conflict can develop better understanding, address necessary concerns, and build a greater connection. However, not all forms of conflict are healthy. Healthy arguments only happen when both sides practice active listening, open-mindedness, and directness. If they're constantly throwing insults, accusations, personal attacks, and silent treatments, you may be dealing with a toxic and manipulative person. If you're finding this video helpful, please don't forget to hit like. We appreciate your love and support. Moving forward, does your crush permit vulnerability? Anxiety is a common feeling at the start of any relationship. Articles from Healthline, NBC News, and Medical News Today back this up. It doesn't matter whether you're an extrovert, introvert, or ambivert you can still constantly worry about how you look, how you speak, or how your crush is perceiving you. This is why it can be very special when your crush opens up about their deep problems, quirks, and flaws. It can make you realize that, yeah, they're human, just like you. And sometimes it makes you like them even more. It's certainly not easy to talk about personal weaknesses and insecurities, so when your crush goes out of their way to let down their guard around you, you're not just anybody. You are someone dear to them, 
It's good if your crush does some or all of these things, but remember that it doesn't necessarily mean they're romantically attracted to you. To know if they like you back, you can check out our other video, flirting or just being nice. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time and remember, you matter and deserve love.